something just ministered unto me that do you know that God is faithful? Don't think about any other person. He said to you that you will not die in 2017. I didn't declare anything. I have been declaring it since the beginning of the year. I'm only pointing you to something about the faithfulness of the Almighty God, about how God ministered unto me. Do you know I am faithful? Now, he said to you, don't look at anybody. He said to you, you as a person, that you will not die in 2017. And here you are. He said to you many, many times, through declarations, through word of exhortation, through personal administration, even unto you, that you will not die in 2017. And here you are. Can you see the faithfulness of God? I would like you now to shout one big hallelujah because of that. I don't know whether it will be early enough to also let you know that in 2018 you will not die. His faithfulness and his faithfulness to his words will make you to stand to journey 2018 and you will not die. Amen. Say Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. I am looking at joy in the house. There's no doubt about it. You know, some of you devil tried all he could to make you to be sad all things when i said all things i mean all things but the lord is greater than devil even when you have put it in your heart when he has won the battle when you are at home anytime you step in here you discover that he loses the battle again <laughs> let somebody say glory be to god So you are going to, you see, uh, several people, they have shared testimonies with me. And if I begin to relate them to you, we won't do anything today. But I just want you to know that God is faithful and he has established it once again in your life. So he will continue to establish it in Jesus' name. So just wave your hands to him and say, thank you, daddy. And you can say it one more time. Somebody was talking to me about this assembly. I said, you can say it over and over again. Let me extend that to you. Say it over and over again. He will accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight, reveal yourself in a different dimension in the name of Jesus. Your children, they have sacrificed. Grant unto them great reward in the name of Jesus. They have obeyed you. The reward of obedience. This night release unto them in the name of Jesus. They have believed you. If for this end of this year, now and 2018 establish them in the name of Jesus. They have believed your word through your prophets. Daddy, please every blessing that they have lost restore in the name of Jesus. Prosper them. 
thank you for answer the prayers. In Jesus name we have prayed. One hallelujah before you sit down. Amen. Please sit down. I am seeing today is 30th December 2017. I am seeing December 30th, 2018. Yeah. And that is to say that you, your household, me, your junior brother, and my household too, we are going to be here as well in the name of Jesus. Yeah. In 2018, this time, anyone that is not here is not because of death, but because of something greater. That has occurred to him or her in the name of Jesus. Amen. Child of God, let me hear your amen. amen. Our God is good. Amen. Yesterday I said, get prepared. You want to pray. Fire for fire prayer. I hope you still remember. Yes. But let me just tell you that we are going to lay the foundation here. Because what we are going to share is something we will not be able to complete. When we share it, I want to pray. We just lay the foundation prophetically. Then we will commission you to go and complete it tonight in your various homes. And I want to beg everyone and please help someone that is not here. 1 a.m. tomorrow. That is tonight, if you want it that way. One hour, every one of us, let us wake up wherever we are. To complete the prayer sessions that the Lord is going to lay before us through this discussion tonight. You will not sleep off. You will not sleep sleep of death. Every sleep you will engage in will be to life in the name of Jesus. Amen. You didn't shout the amen very well. Amen. That's part of the assignment. I know you are coming early tomorrow. That's why God is giving us just one hour. One to two. When it is two, then sleep again. By 4, 4.30, you wake up, you begin to prepare. And I pray in the name of Jesus, that power that you need, you are receiving now in the name of Jesus. Can I hear you saying the amen? amen? Don't forget tomorrow we have two sessions as well. 8 o'clock in the morning. Which is going to be the praise program. As well as the first session of this three day program. That has started since yesterday. Please come. Please come. Some of you, you have indicated your uh, intention to do special thanksgiving honestly we are going to open the floor for everybody even if you have not told us you may not even need to tell us everybody tomorrow i said to ross yesterday it's not going to be a service of two hours so please let us quickly recondition our hearts tonight because the lord said don't deny anybody of my praise tomorrow i will not do that whatever god says i should do Sincerely speaking, I will not look at anybody's face. So if you are coming with praise, please come bountifully. And I pray that as you share your testimony tomorrow, this time next year, you will share greater testimonies in the name of Jesus. Can I hear children of God saying amen? amen. The evening session or night session is the crossover one. Maybe you have started seeing some signs there. We have told you it's going to be awesome. It's going to be glorious. Even the service itself. Please, I don't want you to miss either of the two. There are things that God packaged together. And I've said to Ross yesterday, those of us who will be coming for the crossover, I know some of us might need to travel because of one thing or the other. But if you are coming, please come, don't come as you have been coming to crossover. I know what I'm saying. Crossover service, people come with 
a lot of like cadesica appearance and so some people have gone to I don't want to say it on the hair. Please don't do that. You are coming for a crusade. The Lord said to me in a couple of hours before now that he wanted us to start on a platform that is higher than the platform of others. So while others are still treating something lower, you are already ahead of them. I am talking about 2018. 2018. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. For everyone that will connect with God properly, you discover that when you get to your offices, your colleagues are still talking about certain things and you discover that you are higher than that. Because God will have started something in your life. And that's why the crusade of tomorrow is very, very important. Because by the grace of God, we shall be linking you with an outstanding connection which is going to be a kind of divine visitation upon your lives. So that when you enter 2018, you know that God has started working in your life. It's not saying, God, why, where I'm going to start from? No, 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 no. Please get it right. And God Almighty that sent us will make this to do great things in your life in the name of Jesus. Let me hear your amen one more time. Let somebody say in the name of Jesus. All this I will miss. All this I will miss. All this I shall not miss. And the Lord will say to it in Jesus' name. Can I hear your loudest amen one more time? Can you shout the thought one in the name of Jesus? At exactly 1 p.m. today, I was trying to round up where I went to seek the face of the Lord. And as I was rounding up, the Lord now showed a vision to me. And the vision made whatever I have put together to receive a change. I'm going to take it easy because it's going to be a program that we are not going to spend too much time. But I like that you listen very well and you get the fire right inside of you so that by the time we are saying rise up and pray, you are already praying. And in the course of it, I will be asking you to start to prepare your own prayer points. We are going to raise few one and do together before you leave. But between one and two, you need to gather your own prayer points on this same topic so please that's why you need to be so attentive so that you can allow the holy spirit to start to minister out to you and i pray in the name of jesus no hindrance of any sort physical or spiritual shall come your way in the name of jesus i didn't hear your amen so a picture of crossover was shown to me and how the Lord showed it, very simple. Two parties were ready to cross over from one level to another. And what was I doing? Like I said, I was running over. Then I was praying. I said, God, permit me to just request this from you. Because I was pondering on certain things, giving glory to God pondering on some other things and I was doing some query and all that. I was expressing probably my dissatisfaction or some other things in these other areas. I said, God, let me request this from you. Let it be that everyone in the restoration family shall cross over without their shames and without their obstacles and troubles. That was what I was praying. And the Lord was leading me to specifically maybe identify some shambles, rumbles, and all that. Maybe of individuals and so on and so forth. And I was asking God, why not allow these individual to just cross over without all these loads? And as I was so deep in that prayer, so the two groups were shown to me. 
And these are the groups that you know too well. That's why I said, please get yourself set. Because the Lord liveth. We cannot say when he has started to live. And no one of us will know his end. He has all power to do whatever he wants to do. At the time he desires to do it. No one anywhere can stand when God is standing. Everybody will have to bow down. Including the highest trouble that you have ever experienced in your life. So I am standing on that and I'm declaring concerning you this evening that no matter how thick the cloud has been concerning your life as long as it's negative it will not cross over with you. You didn't shout the amen very well. Say in the name of Jesus. You didn't know I would do that. That's why you didn't do it very well. Say in the name of Jesus. Say every obstacle. Say none of my obstacle. None of my reproaches. Shall cross over. With me to 2018. So. I. I felt that people should start on a very fresh note in 2018. Particularly when God said, okay, the crusade of tomorrow, I'm going to use it to place them. As if, oh, I remember, you know, some of you, when you were in school, you had something like double promotion. Class one to class three, something like that. Primary one to primary three. It may not be all, but at least some of you, you experience it. When the principal or the headmaster, when he, he, he discovered that, look, your level was just too high. So why will you go to the next class? I remember my own case. They said you will be troubling the next class. So the best thing is to throw you above that. So God said, I am going to do exactly unto you in 2018. So I now felt that it's good for all of us to start on a fresh note. Not carrying the same shame of 2017, 2016, 2015, 2019. Something one has been carrying since 19 something. In those days we say 19 to Tikbe. And you are still carrying it in 2000. When the 2000 is already getting to an end. So by the auction of the Holy Spirit tonight. As we decree and pray. All of them they would leave us in the name of Jesus. Child of God, where is your amen? amen? So the two groups were Israelites and the Egyptians. So I saw at the bank of the river and you know the river, river which is being known as Red Sea. The two of them wanted to cross over but at different level and at different expectation, different missions. One was pursuing to cross over with the other one. In order to continue what he had started in the life of the other. I am going to take the two as different entity. I may not be pluralizing them. One, one. That is a group. So if you see me saying it, note that I'm just talking about a group. And when I say a group, all the Egyptians put together, all the Israelites put together a group. So one was pursuing another one. And wanted to continue with the ill that he had been doing concerning this other one that he was pursuing. Don't forget, 430 years. So that's why I said, 19, 30, you are still carrying certain things. Those things will not cross over. But you will cross over. Those things will not cross over. I say you will cross over in the name of Jesus. And you know the the other group, these Egyptians, of course, torment us. They are obstacles. They are whatever you can think about concerning the Israelites. Tax master. Turn your Bible to Exodus chapter 14. Yes, of course, there were mixed multitude already. Some people, they followed. They were Egyptians. When the Lord was liberating the Israelites, they followed them, but you cannot categorize them as Egyptians any longer because, of course, they have become Israelites. But the other group was coming and they wanted, like I said, to continue the work. 
You know when shame and reproach follow you. When it crosses over with you. What that shame is trying to do is that what it has been doing in your life, it continues in a new year. Say it is an abomination. Say it with me. Because the January of 2018 cannot be the January of 2009, 2017. The January of 2018 cannot be the January of 2016. It cannot be the January of 2005 and all that and all that. It's a different January. And that's why it's tagged January 2018. Why would something be following you for so many years and we think we still think that, yes, I want to continue with him. Just to continue, I decree in the name of Jesus, by the river of the Red Sea, you will drop them there in the name of Jesus. As I was meditating, I heard the voice. Suppose the Lord did not take the Israelites through the wilderness along the Red Sea. Maybe you know, a small boy thinking now, maybe a lot of Egyptians will have followed them even to their Canaan land. You and I know that there is a route that they can take. 11 days they will be there. But if God had not taken them through the Red Sea, like I said, a small boy standing before you thinking aloud, maybe the reproaches of 4 and 30 years will have continued with them when they got to the Canaan land. By the grace of God, I concluded in my heart, one of the reasons why God took them through the Red Sea was that he wanted to sink all their shames once and for all. And tonight, in the name of Jesus, you are hearing it. Don't forget that you are the Israelites of the Africa. And what happened to the Israelites of the whole thing days will happen to you. They won the battle. Not that they won it. God won it for them. So you are going to win your own battle in Jesus name. Can I hear children of God saying amen? amen. Oh, hey, just take this. It's not part of the message. What is committed into your hands? Please do it well in 2018. The Lord said to me, say to them, please do it well. Make sure that you are always there. Do not drag your feet. Something you are doing somewhere, you don't know that what God has committed to your hands is what is going to make you to prosper. Even the prosperity you are looking for elsewhere. Please, let me stop at that. Exodus chapter number 14. At the, at the crossover, things were settled. God hardened the hearts of Pharaoh and made him to pull some best soldiers to follow them. And God knew that if he didn't do that, of course, these people will continue to press out the life of his children. He wanted rest for them in their Canaan land. So he had to do a kind of settlement at that river that day. And since that day, the Lord made us to know that the issue of Egyptians vis-a-vis -vis the Israelites, God settled. So share, I decree and I declare that by the grace of God, I don't know how many of those things that have been bombarding your lives, but we are at the crossover point. So the Lord will settle all things in the name of Jesus. Now I like us to read 6 to 10, Exodus 14. Get ready his chariots. And make, took make, his make people. sure you open your Bible. You see, new revelations at all times. Yes, you are reading. He made ready his chariots. He made ready his chariots. And took his people with him. Yes. And he took 600 chosen chariots. Yes. And all the chariots of Egypt. There were reasons why he did that, but let's forget about that. The only thing that is clear to us is that shame reproaches terrible things of so many years decided to follow them so that they can cross over together. 
Yes, read my sister. And all the chariots of Egypt. All the chariots and of Egypt. And captains over every one of them. Yes. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king, the of heart Egypt. Of Pharaoh king of Egypt. And he pursued after the children of Israel. Yes. And the children of Israel went out with an high hand. Yes. But the Egyptians pursued after them. Uh -huh. All the horses and chariots of army. Yes. Of Pharaoh and his horsemen. Yes. And his army. Yes. And overtook them, encamping by the sea. Yes. Beside Pihari Riot, uh -huh. before Baal Zephon. Verse number 10 says, And, and when, when Pharaoh, Pharaoh drew near, uh -huh, the children of Israel they lifted, up their, lifted up their eyes. And behold, behold the Egyptians, Egyptians marched after them. After and them. they were so afraid. They were so afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. Because they knew what, is what Egyptians what they were in their lives they knew that they were torn in their flesh they knew if for 30 years some people dominated some people enslaved some people if for 30 years some people put tax upon certain people and they were just like that and you now see them again maybe after some days that you have left them of course you want to sink immediately I decree in the name of Jesus. I don't want us to lose the content. The content is that your shame will not cross over with you in the name of Jesus. Your annihilators will not cross over with you. Others obstacles shall not cross over with you. And at the point as I was praying, I also decree concerning you that the Red Sea will be greater enough to swallow all of them in the name of Jesus. You didn't shout the amen very well. Now, let me quickly round up. One crossed over. The other one was pushing. The other one wanted to cross over, like I said, with a mission. But the other was sunk. And the one that was sunk happened to be the annihilator. The one that was sunk happened to be the tax master. The one that was sunk happened to be the reproach, happened to be the shame, the obstacle, and all the negativity. And the one that was sunk came with the power of flesh. And the one that crossed over went with the power of the Almighty God. One of them crossed over. The other one was swallowed up in the middle of the sea. I may not know exactly that time. But before the tickling of the clock, and we will be saying 1 1 2018, every of this trouble of your life will have disappeared in the name of Jesus. If you are sick, sickness will not cross over with you. I want to repeat myself. If you are sick, as the Lord liveth and his spirit lives, that's a reproach concerning you. The sickness will not be able to cross over with you in the name of Jesus. If you are poor, poverty will not cross over with you. If you are childless, childlessness will not cross over with you. You are not shouting that amen very well. Whatever is yours, talking about trouble. It will not be able to cross over with you in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to start to build your prayer points. We are going to do few here. But 1 to 2 p.m. Oh, sorry. A.m. We are going to continue the other one. Do your own very well. If your children are around, gather them together. Encourage them to wake up at that time. Please, please, please join hands together. It's a prophetic arrangement. And it's something that is going to put paid to certain things in our lives. And I know God will do it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you shout your amen one more time? Amen. Read further so that we can rise up to pray any moment from now. Verse 11. Verse 11. And they said unto Moses, Yes. Because there were no graves in Egypt, Yes. Thou hast taken us away to die in the wilderness. Yes. Wherefore hast thou dealt with us, does with us, to carry us forth out of Can Egypt. Can you go to 27? Okay. 27. Yeah. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea. Yes. And the sea returned to his strength. Yes. When, 
when the morning appeared yes. and the Egyptians fled against it uh -huh. and the Lord overthrew the, the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the, of the sea, in the midst of the sea and the waters returned the waters returned and covered the chariots covered the chariots and the horsemen covered the horsemen and all the horse of Pharaoh I don't know what your chariots have you begin to build your own uh, prayer points I hope you are getting me uh -huh. returned and covered the chariots Cover the horsemen, and all the cover the horse of Pharaoh, Pharaoh that into came the into the sea after them. them. There remained not so, so much as one, as of, one them. of them. All of them, they disappeared. Because the intensity and the power of Red Sea was more than what they can contend with. So they were all swallowed up. So ladies and gentlemen, the point tonight is that as you cross over to 2018, all your shames will not cross over with you in the name of Jesus. Is there any more person to say one more amen? amen. Any believer in the house who can say, Yes, I believe it. I believe my God will do it. I don't know how many of you you have built up one or two things and say, This one must sink. If you have not done that, you begin to think about it because those are the things you are going to use in your prayer sessions. Alright? So, all of you, or how many of you that believe that this one, this my failure, will sink before 2018? I don't know how many of you. This, this leg that is paining me, as small as it is, it will sink. It will not crush over with me. This, this, this thing that people know me with, and they are just talking rubbish about it will sink before... 2018, they will not cross over with me. The highest they can do is to get to the bay and to get to the midst of the sea that is crossing over. This is where they are going to be nipped in the bud. And my God will honor you and honor the world as you determine and as you pray in the name of Jesus. Except the Lord did not do it as we are reading here. That will be the only snack that will not make the prayer to come to pass. And except you don't believe, except you don't do it, except you are seeing it as one of those things, one of those preachings that you have had before, except you are just looking at it, one of those portions of the Bible, you know some of you, you read so much the Bible, I have read it many, many times, except that is what we are thinking about. But if you are seeing it as a new thing, I decree and I declare that God has sent me will make it to happen in your life in the name of Jesus. Can somebody say one more amen in the name of Jesus? Mighty warrior, great in Jehovah. Mighty warrior, mighty warrior, great in battle. Of second Kings chapter 2, verse 6 to 8, Elijah was going with Elisha, and the two of them crossed over because one of them, one was not a trouble to the other one. No, can we read the portion of the Bible? Second Kings, second Kings 2. Yes, go ahead. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha said unto him, I pray thee, I pray thee. Yeah, you see, you see, certain things will have to follow you, certain things will cross over with you. You see, you have started something in 2017. They need to they need to be completed in 2018. God has started something. Maybe as a result of this prayer, He need to complete those things in January 2018. So they are going to follow you. You didn't shout the amen very well. Yes, go ahead. For the Lord has sent me to Jordan, uh -huh. and He said, He said, as the Lord liveth, I'm going to follow you. But you cannot get to Jordan without crossing River Jordan. Just go ahead. And they saw live uh -huh. I will not leave thee. I won't. And the two went the two on. Went on yes. and, and the fifth man of the sons the of the sons prophet of the went, prophets. And stood to view afar, afar off. <laughs> yes, go ahead. And they two stood by Jordan. And they were looking at them. What? They wanted to see if they would be able to cross over. That was not even the greatest one. It was when even Elisha was coming, single handedly. I don't know how many people are thinking that yes, we have settled his case. Let me let him or her just be doing whatever he or she is doing. The person will be disappointed in the name of Jesus. 
verse number eight. And Elijah took his mantle. He took his mantle. And wrapped it, he wrapped together, it together. And smote the waters. And, the waters, and they were divided. The water was divided. And divided eater and bitter. So that the two went so over and dry ground. Over to dry ground. They crossed over. You will cross over. Amen. They crossed over. You will cross over. You see, when something greater is coming, you need to cross from one level to another. That's why sometimes it looks as if ah, I don't expect never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Some of you are older than I do. They say, and do you think it's a small thing? If you want to get to something great in life, greater level in life, you will suffer certain things. Never mind. And I'm going to tell you, the Lord said to me, he said, some of you, you are digging, digging, looking for water, and you are becoming weary. He said, continue. You are not going to get water. You will get oil. He said, some of you, you are moving, looking for water. And as you journey, it's as if you are going through the desert. And you want to retreat. He said, don't retreat. Because you will find well in the name of Jesus. The Lord showed to me, he said, you only took a cup a cup is in your hand. You are just looking for water. Something to drink at once. And as you go, then all the lands become arid. And you are not getting water. He said, continue. Don't be weary. Because very shortly, I will show you well. You didn't understand what I'm saying. That is, you are going to drink and drink and drink over and over again. I will still look at where I wrote those things and I can tell you more about that. He said, don't be wearied. Continue. Encourage yourself in the word of the Lord. Again, make sure that you don't depart from the word of the Lord. Just begin to assess yourself as you go. He said, continue to receive strength in me because I am suddenly behind you. Your well is there. When that woman was suffering in the wilderness, God said, okay, I have had you. And angel said, look. And she looked, there was a well. And what was it that Abraham gave to them? Just a jar of water. And they got a whole well. God said to me, he said, you are looking for a cup of water to drink. And you are becoming weary. He said, I should tell you, don't be weary. You are getting a whole well. The amen was so weak and so weak. So they were looking at the two of them. Baba <laughs> They said, Look at him. Elijah and Elijah. Look at him. Look at him. Let people be making yes of you. <laughs> let, let people be. You see, there was a time in the life of Suru Lady. You all know the street Suru Lady. It was so terrible. And everybody was against the Baba Fakaye. Only Baba Korodi. I said, no, no, no. <laughs> Whatever you are doing, our song says, we share what you and she. What you are who? All the Whether inside or outside of this. Ejekamashora. Ejekamashora. Hey, Ejekamashora. Who do you want to share what you And it's biblical. Every idle word you speak anywhere shall be accounted for in the kingdom of judgment. It's going to come. The fact that Jesus has not come does not make the Bible to be invalid. The word of the Lord stands and stands forever. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk about that to you in some other time. But make sure that, yes, you don't. Just continue. Because the Lord sees you. Make sure you are not falling out. Make sure everything. And when you look at what happened to the Israelites, if you go to the beginning of that chapter, God gave them an instruction. Among other instructions, he has been given them, and they yielded to the instruction. He said, Go this way, and they yielded. That was the only thing God was looking at. And God did what He wanted to do by sinking all their troubles. Don't forget what God is passing across to you is that every of your shame, your problems over the years, 2018 cannot contain them. So that means that the Red Sea will sink them in the name of Jesus. Let's read this portion quickly. Yes. What verse are you? Nine. Verse number nine. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. When they were gone over. When they were gone over. But Elijah said unto Elisha, uh -huh. Ask what I shall do for thee uh -huh. before I be taken away from thee. Uh -huh. and, Elisha, and Elisha said, uh -huh. I pray thee, uh -huh. let the double portion of the spirit be upon me. The double portion. Give it to me. Give it to me. Then go to verse 13. When he was coming back, 
Verse 13. You are not he there. took up also the mantle he of Elijah. Took up also the mantle of Elijah. He saw Sunday. the master. He saw the way he did it. Because he followed him with all his heart. Follow Jesus. Because your trouble is going to be over. So, nobody and he passed by because he was not having anything different. So, he went, he came back. But your enemies will not be able to cross over with you in the name of Jesus. Do I hear you saying your amen? So, if you look at that Exodus 14, number chapter verse number 1, God gave them instruction. They followed the instruction. Don't forget. Genesis chapter number 12 from verse 1, God gave Abraham instruction. He followed the instructions immediately. Joshua chapter 1 verse 6 to 8, 11, God gave instruction. To, he said, you are going to divide the land, but you need to do so, so, so. It's not just fear not alone. He said, everything that Moses handed over to you, the law of Moses, your master, I gave the law to him. You must observe all of them. Don't read Bible upside down. Particularly in 2018. Because it's dangerous. I don't need to. Maybe I should start to tell you that. If you have seen anything rough in 2017. Globally. You have not seen anything. If you have seen any trouble. I don't want to say Nigeria alone. Globally in 2017. You have not seen what? You have not seen anything. I'm not a prophet of doom. Nobody will die. We will see. But my God will preserve you. Amen. You didn't shout the amen very well. Amen. Don't forget Isaiah chapter number 1 verse 19 to 20. If you are, if you are willing, if you are obedient, the good of the land is awaiting you. I wrote something here. God said I have prepared everything. Even the sea of four is already on ground that he has given the sea of four even unto you. All you need to do is just cross over and possess the land. Amen. You didn't shout amen to that. Amen. That even your portion has been demarcated. There is already a label. Family by family. And they want to show you it's already there. You are carrying the power, the deed of assignment. You are carrying the power of Atoni already. It's in your hand. See or fall. <laughs> that is where you are going. That is 2018. It's a question of getting there. I say, this is your portion. And you begin to dwell in it. And it's a year you are going to have inheritance. Some of you, you look at year from January to December, you cannot lay your hand on anything. You cannot say in continue to take she really. But far from that, in 2018, it's going to be a different story. You'll be pointing to them like this. God help me to do this. God help me to do this. God help me to do this. At the end of 2018, those are your portions. You'll be counting like this. They are talking of counting your blessing and be happy and rejoice and give. Nobody will tell you that any longer. Pastor will not need to sweat. To say, hey, if you don't know that God has done something for you, hey, what about your life? No, 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 no. It will be greater than that. By the reason of God, what, what God will do for you, it will be enough to preach to you. To preach the goodness of God and the awesomeness of God. Even unto you, I am talking to you about 2018. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Is somebody in the house for you, for me to know you, and the house you say, Amen. Rise up and let us pray. Don't forget, gather your prayer points. We will not be able to exhaust everything here. And I want to round up in the next 20, 10, 10, 15 minutes. But let us pray real prayers. I was showing to us sometimes when we had been in the nine days. I said, Prayer that did not answer. Let's count it as not prayers. And do you know after that, there have been series of manifestations of what God has done. And God will do your own in the name of Jesus. Can I hear your amen? Lift up your right hand and say in the name of Jesus. Lift up your right hand and say in the name of Jesus. Lift it up and say in the name of Jesus. That every shape that I am carrying, none of them will follow into 2018. None of them will be able to cross over with me. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. You are not praying very well. Don't let hunger deceive you at this point. I have told you, gather your prayer points as many as possible. We are only laying it prophetically here. 
and God is giving you that strength to continue. You will answer this place tonight. But let us do this together. So that the devil knows that it is not you that originated it. That it started from God. It started from the throne of power. So devil will not be able to prevail over you. And prevail over every request. Let me hear you in the name of Jesus. None of them shall cross over with me. And the second one I want you to pray. Whatever it is I shall cross over. How many hours? How many days left? Any trouble anywhere? In the city? In my streets? Oh God, wherever I go, even when I travel, I shall cross over to 2018. Use your mouth to talk. You and who? Your children, you are forgotten them. You and who, your wife, your husband, have you forgotten them? Carry them along. Those are the ones that will follow you like Elijah and Elijah. Tell it to the Almighty God. All these we shall cross over together. And I want you to say every good thing you have commenced in my life. Oh God, because accomplishment, accomplishment is awaiting them in 2018. Oh God, we cross over together. Don't forget we are under limitless possibilities. Let there be earthquake. Let there be bomb blast. Let there be anything. Me and my household, we shall cross over to 2018. That is the prayer on ground, ladies and gentlemen. Then I will tell you the top prayer points and we close for the day. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that gives this world at all times. Oh God, you are so wonderful, Jehovah Lord. Jesus. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and pray. Until I ask you to stop, do not stop. Awesome. Awesome. With my house. We shall cross over. Now quickly speak to God. Let 2018 be a great year for me. The starting point of something greater than before. Don't forget you have passed through so many things. You cannot start all over again. 2018 is not meant for you to start and start. No, 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 no. You are getting, you are starting from a level. You are not starting from class one any longer. Class two, class three. 200 level. No preliminary any longer. Open your mouth and pray. Father Commission 2018. To be a special year for me. Already we are talking about limited, limitless possibilities for the year. So, just key into it. There is, we are not doing anything different from that. Abundance blessing. Abundance blessing. Abundance of good things. Then finally, God give me the grace to obey you. Totally. And not fall out. Speak to God everything I have done wrong in 2017. The grace not to do them again. The grace not to do it again. The grace to stand by your word. The grace not to be stolen away by anything. Father, release upon me right now. And finally, speak to God about tomorrow's program. The first session, the second session. Particularly the crossover. Lift up your voice and speak. Let the angels of the Lord descend and take over. Let there be miracles, signs and wonders. Say to God as we praise you. In the last prayer submit tomorrow. 
Father, please accept all the praises. And as we come for the crossover, make it a crusade indeed to subdue every power that is against us in the name of Jesus. Speak concerning this nation. There must not be any trouble. The issue of fuel scarcity must be subdued. God has started doing it. I drove around some places. I could see fuel here and there. Let's ask God. We need it more. We need it more. By the time we open our eyes tomorrow, everywhere must be flooded. Even with it in the name of Jesus. And the cancer of devil becomes not concerning this nation one more time in the name of Jesus. I want you to say a word to yourself outside of what I have mentioned. Just say a word to yourself, God, in the name of Jesus. Maybe you want to put that 1 to 2 a.m. Put it before God. Daddy, I must be there. I must be part of the chain. It's a chain prayer. I won't fall out of it, Lord. And I will come with testimonies in the name of Jesus. Look at, look for where your purses, your, your, your pockets are. Bring out another offering for God now. Look for purses, your purses, your treasures. What you have brought out, please let's lift them unto God and say, Daddy, sanctify in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Release your power upon this abundance beyond my expectations, Lord. Let it be the portion, even of the sources where they have come from. And so shall it be. Bring out your water now, bottles of water, and also bless. Say to Jesus that he should touch it and turn it to something else. Great water concerning your life in the name of Jesus, and so shall it be. Continue with your prayers. Just open your mouth and open your eyes to see the basket that is passing by so that you can drop your offering there. Don't say you are taking the basket and I'm praying. I close my eyes then. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes. And drop your blessing so that you will be blessed in return in the name of Jesus. 1 to 2 a.m. Tonight, we are going to connect together. All of us, please don't forget. Just know that we are praying together wherever your house is or where you are having it. And I pray God is going to bless you in the name of Jesus. You are going to receive divine encounter in the name of Jesus. And every issue will be resolved in the name of Jesus. Tomorrow, 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 you will be here as well in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Let's return our glory to the Almighty God. Tomorrow there's something that we need to do. I'm looking for it now. Please, as you come, at least a bottle of water or a keg of water. And the Lord said we are going to specially pray on it. And this is what we are going to do. We are going to use it as one of the first things we are going to use in January 1. A bottle of water or a keg of water. The Lord said we are going to use it as part of the first water to be used to bath in January 1st, 2018. Please hear it and uh, let us obey. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Please return our glory to the Almighty God. If God is leading you to assist that program, please see us. And I pray is a link to something great in the name of Jesus. As we have returned.